Cisco, U.S. Foods, Cheney Brothers, McLean, Gordon Food Service, and more. Which two companies have the best reviews? Today we're going to find out. Y'all stay tuned. What up YouTube, welcome to my channel. I'm Anthony TV. Look, do me a favor guys, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for me. Like this video and drop a comment if you got a comment. You already know I appreciate your support. And hey, look, you see the title of today's video. We're gonna dive right into it. We got 10 food service companies and I wanna see which two companies have the best reviews. And look guys, this rating or score is based on indeed all of these numbers came off indeed and we're just going to see which two companies have the highest score we're going to start from the worst scores to the best scores so the first food service company is going to have the worst score and then the last company obviously is going to have uh the best scores or the, la the last two companies are going to have the best scores so we're just gonna look into it and we're probably gonna kind of look and see um you know what contributed to the score the most what had the most impact so we're gonna look at that too but look without further ado let's go ahead and dive into it guys the first one on the list we got ryan hart that's right man ryan hart food service you can see right here they got 2.9 stars man so they are the worst in terms of reviews they have the worst rating out of the 10 companies that we're going to talk about today let's go ahead and scroll down here and see what contributed most to this score if we go down here to ratings by category you can see their lowest score was in the management category 2.5 so that was the lowest score um, which really kind of hurt them and you can see the culture and job security and advancement also uh, was pretty low. Oh, and uh, work-life balance was pretty low. Wow. So, that's your number one company in terms of the worst score. All right. Reinhardt Food Service got a 2.9. All right. Let's go to the next one. Sigma is going to be the second worst rating second worst review with a three star review let's go down here and look at what category contributed most to this particular score if we go down here to ratings we see they got a 2.5 as well in management they also had a 2.6 in worth light balance which hurt them and also the culture was 2.7 so management category and also work life balance it really hurt them um and really contributed to their low score, man. So Sigma would be the second worst review. All right, let's go to the next one. Performance Food Group with a three-star review. So Performance Food Group is our third worst rating or review on the list. Let's scroll down here and see what contributed most to their score. Uh, they got a 2.7 in work-life balance and also a 2.7 in the management category. So those two things obviously contributed most to their score. Work-life balance and management. So the first three companies that we ran through already have pretty much the same thing in common in terms of what contributed to their score um, being low. Uh, all three of these companies had low scores in those particular areas. All right. Performance Food Group is your third company. Third worst review. All right. Let's go to the next one. McLean with a 3.2 star rating. Let's look at what contributed to McLean's score. All right, McLean, 2.7 in management, 
However, McLean has a little bit higher score in the work-life balance category with a 2.9. So those particular categories kind of hurt them the most. However, the work-life balance score is actually higher than the previous companies that we mentioned, but the management category 2.7 as well, similar to the other companies that we mentioned, really hurt these guys. Um, however, they have a higher score than the previous companies that we already mentioned, sitting at a 3.2 rating. All right, that's your fourth company. Let's go to the fifth company. Cheney Brothers with a 3.3 slightly higher than McLean. All right, let's go down here and look at what contributed to Cheney's score. All right, if you look down here, management. Management seems to be the number one thing that's impacting all of these companies that we mentioned. Um, however, Cheney does have a slightly higher score in the management area than the previous companies at 2.9. And they also have a higher score in the work-life balance with a 3.0. That's actually not bad. All right. So there you have it, man. That's Cheney Brothers with a 3.3 rating. And that makes up the fifth food service company, man. All right. We halfway done with the list. Let's go to the next company. Martin Brower. Shout out to Martin Brower. We don't really talk about Martin Brower too much, but Martin Brower came in with a solid 3.4 rating not bad at all let's look at the categories and see where they fall 2.9 in management which is their lowest score work-life balance though 3.0 so management and work-life balance seems to be the two categories that have the lowest scores um, in all of these companies so far um, now obviously 2.9 isn't terrible 3.0 obviously is is average. That's that's not bad at all, as in terms of the work life balance. So shout out to Martin Brower, man. Let's go to the next company, man. U.S. Foods, 3.4 rating, slightly higher than the previous company, Martin Brower. Shout out to U.S. Foods, man. Let's go ahead and scroll down here to their categories. get on there let's go to reviews sorry about that guys all right 2.9 in management work-life balance 3.0 similar to uh martin brower actually the exact same score in those two categories um but they have a little bit higher scores in other areas that made them kind of edge out martin brower to get uh, on top of these guys uh, with a 3.4 rating. So shout out to U.S. Foods, man. All right, let's go to the next company, man. Cisco tied up with U.S. Foods with a 3.4 rating. Shout out to Cisco. This is the eighth food service company that we've talked about. We got two more companies after this. Shout out to Cisco, man, 3.4. Let's go down here and scroll work-life balance. They got a three-star rating. Uh, management, 2.9 rating, similar to the other companies. However, they do edge out uh, the other companies that we mentioned. Um, actually, I believe U.S. Foods had the same 3.4. Let's look at U.S. Foods again. Yeah, so U.S. Foods and cisco both have 3.4 ratings so they're tied in that position so shout out to both of those guys 3.4 actually, actually isn't bad that's that's average man that's pretty good um so shout out to those guys let's go ahead and move on let's go to the next company all right guys gordon food service came in with a 3.5 star rating man let's go ahead and scroll down here and see what contributed to gordon food service score work-life balance 3.3 stars man that's the highest we've seen so far out of the companies we mentioned shout out to gfs um and also 3.1 rating in management uh, once again the highest score we've seen in these areas man so shout out to gfs coming in strong with a solid 3.5 to take one of those top spots man remember these are the top two food service companies with the best ratings or reviews GFS 
is takes one of those spots, man. So shout out to Gordon Food Service, man, with the 3.5 solid rating. All right, last but not least, drum roll. All right, Benny Keith, man. Sorry for that terrible drum roll, guys. But listen, Benny Keith, 3.5 rating, man. Much like GFS, 3.5. Benny Keith. Shout out to Benny Keith, man. We don't talk about Benny Keith a lot either. Solid, solid, solid review coming in from Benny Keith, man. 3.2. They actually got a higher work life balance than GFS coming in at 3.2. And management is 3.0. GFS actually had a 3.1 in that area of management so they basically split that between you know work-life balance and management uh gfs had a higher score in the management area by one and work-life balance ben and keith has a higher score than gfs by one so shout out to both of these guys man these are your top two companies gordon food service and benny keith man all right guys there you have it out of 10 companies you see your top two companies with the best ratings or reviews was Gordon Food Service. Shout out to Gordon Food Service with a solid 3.5 review. Also, shout out to Benny Keith with a 3.5 review. The other companies, shout out to you guys as well. I'm sure y'all will improve on those ratings. I'm sure everybody will get better. I thought it was just pretty fun, man, and wanted to put the information out there. And these numbers vary, guys. Um, you know. There's different number of people who actually participated in those polls to make those ratings. So, you know, this was just a fun thing that I wanted to do. But look, guys, do me a favor, man. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for me. Like this video. Drop a comment if you got a comment. Until next time, y'all already know I catch y'all on the next one, man. Y'all take care. Peace.